as ICC, what would you do if you could not physically make it to an ICC meeting in OC? Well, I, we do hold a co-position, so I would ask my co if he could go. But if we both can't make it, I would try to work something around that or just be more in contact with the other ICC or even just do a web meeting or Skype if that's possible. But I would try to at least get the information as far as what was discussed and, and what I, I would try to be there for the most part. Um, so in the event that um, we have an internal event mm -hmm. on the same day as an external event, how would you handle um, rolling out to it, to the external event? If we had an event and the other school also had an event. Well, I feel like it's a very difficult question. Mm -hmm. I think as ICC, I should go and represent our school and then see if other people would want to come too. But I feel like we should still go at least and represent our school. However, if it's not possible, I would always contact the school beforehand. I mean, obviously as ICC, as a whole group, we would try to have events that don't contra conflict with each other and work really hard to kind of know each other's schedule. But if it's absolutely like no, no way around it, I would also I would try to at least either sorry I would try to at least either be there to represent our school or um, let the school know about the issue. But they would probably already have like notice already. In an event where SSU has a fault with another school, how would you handle it? What kind of fallout exactly? Because there's like different ways of handling certain situations. How would you handle both of those situations? Could you give me a scenario? Because there's a lot of ways. Like you had an argument. Like an argument. I think I would have to talk to the ICC of that school first and express our, of our voice communally about how we felt and how we were treated, but also try to be open to what they have to say as well and then hopefully meet on more common grounds with someone maybe um, that isn't involved in the dispute as just someone who to mediate the conversation and kind of voice our concerns and our issues and hopefully come to a compromise. Because I feel like I don't really want kind of bad reputation with different schools. It's better to resolve it first than to let it like continue. As ICC, you need to promote many events. How comfortable do you feel presenting and hyping up events in GBM? I have really bad stage fright, but I want to work on that this year. And um, I'm willing to step out of my comfort zone and do something that's not exactly comfortable for me. And I would definitely try to plan things in advance and practice them and work with my co, as well as get opinions from other people and just practice in front of other people. To try to get, um, to try to present it in a better way that other people would like, would get the, cross, the point across and certain important things across. Um, so as ICC, you're part of two boards, the Intercollegiate yeah. Council and um, CAV here at PSA, mm -hmm. or uh, SSU. Yes. Um, how would you balance um, the responsibilities of both, considering it's like so much time? I feel like I would have to try to find a way that works and just be really organized in the way I schedule things and try to communicate a lot with like our board members as well as other board members from other schools to try to find a way that works with everyone's schedule. And as I said, like if I can't meet or go to a meeting or something, um, either find someone that could give me the information or have my co go or just go for a video conference if I can't make that travel. But I would try to like communicate better and like try to go to um, a lot of the events that wouldn't require me to like get information so I can relay them back to each school. Um, 
Yes, Brandon. <laughs> okay, so since your position is a co-position with uh, Tony, mm -hmm. um, what did I say? Okay. Um, in the event that you both have a conflict of interest, say um, an external event, an internal event, working with someone on board, uh, mm -hmm. how would you two go about, or how would you go about resulting, uh, resolving that conflict? Like we don't agree with each other on something? You don't agree, you guys have an argument, mm -hmm. it could be anything. I think it's best to resolve the issue. Like if we go get into an argument to first dis discuss that argument first, if we can't come to a compromise within each other just talking, find someone that's like not related to the conversation or argument and have them mediate the, the issue. But like it's best to solve the issue at hand before you let it turn to something worse. Yeah. Um. To follow up on that, uh, that mm -hmm. question, actually, um, and like I said, since it is a co-position, sometimes there may be a tendency for one individual to maybe slack off or mm -hmm. maybe rely in a negative way too much on the other individual, making them do all the work, for example. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's you, I'm not saying it's Tony, mm -hmm. I'm saying the situation may arise. Mm -hmm. um, how would you go about uh, resolving that and, per and or preventing that? At first, I feel like I would discuss it with him personally. And then if it continues, like, also hold him responsible as well, but like not slack off on what my responsibility is. Even though it's a co-position, it is still my responsibility to go to these things. And like handling that is like somewhat separate from the issue at hand of like, op like filling my obligations as in my position. Thank you. Yeah. That's all the questions we have for you. Interesting.